I assure you that I remain unmoved by the attempt on my life. Unmoved? Your outward body may appear untouched, yet none among us could endure such attack without duress. Even a prison may hide its cracks if they are clear. Truth itself is such a prison. Those of us entrusted with domains less perilous than America feel blessed by your courage, Dawn. Its rewards match its dangers. What measures have you taken to deflect further attacks? You already know I have implanted another human. Boone, the one who has delivered me from the assassination attempt. I plan to announce his ordainment. The press corps is ready, Don. Escort them to me. Boone as well. William Boone's potential is beyond question. Let us hope that he comes to embody the dreams you nurture for him. future of humanity. William Boone's life has been destroyed. A man caught between two worlds, assigned protector to the Companions, undercover agent for the Liberation. An alien implanted cyber virus expands his mind, controlling a bioengineered weapon of unprecedented power. William Boone searches for the truth. Thank you, my friends. I am grateful to be among you again. We companions have come to Earth to share our knowledge, to teach, to learn, that together we might thrive. We remain thankful that most of you have accepted our goodwill. We rely on you to create a new year where our friend may flourish. Kai, die. Yet the tragic events of last week cause us to reevaluate our need for safety. Your president has graciously named a respected police officer to aid us in this effort. Captain William Boone now serves both our worlds as commander of security and interspecies relations. Thank you, Don. Don's trust comes with a heavy burden. I would add only that I'll roll my sleeves up and do the best job I can for all of us. I'll take any questions you might have. Uh, is it true that the sniper found dead was a friend of yours? Yes. Ed Jordan was a platoon mate of mine in the 01 war. He served his country with distinction. Was he acting alone? At the moment... Regrettably, there are those among you who oppose cooperation with the Companions. One of Commander Boone's tasks will be to make sure such groups never attain destructive cohesion. Any more questions? This is your new office, Boone. All the advantages of Talon technology. And those would be? A demonstration.
Tail on virtual glass. Key to your security needs. Never breaks, never needs cleaning. Come on. I uh, took the liberty of having your old office cleaned out. Starting the field of full effect of your cyberbiral implant. Our CVIs allow us to recall memories in complete detail. Sights, sounds, smell, every impression, no matter how remote. This this moment, I I was there. I was reliving it. This happens to you too. Of course. You had a memory intrusion back at the press conference, correct? Yeah. But how do you get control of it? Your cerebral cortex will adopt it as just another way of thinking. Once it does, you'll be amazed at what you can achieve. I can imagine. Actually, you can't imagine. March 12th, 1987. What about it? What'd you have for lunch? For lunch, a hot dog. How would I remember? But you do know. Just recall it. Sandoval, I was in junior high. Boone. Humor me. Stay with it. Look around. Explore the memory, Boone. Pizza. I had pizza. I traded lunches with Dan Spicer. You remembered that? I didn't remember it, I tasted it. <sighs> that shouldn't surprise you. You and Doris told me what the CVI would do. Hey, take a left here. Quick, pull over to the curb. Pull over. was killed. She was headed northbound. She ran that light doing 60. She clipped a truck right there, rolled here. And all I want to know is how they did it. You can't pursue this. You're an implant. Implants don't have vendettas. They have one purpose, that's to serve the companions. For your own sake, you gotta let this go. Drive train schematics. 
partsless fuel cell supplement. Next, 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 stop. You're not doing what I think you're doing. Somebody blew up Kate's car. I can prove it. You cannot go down this road. Look, I gotta do this for me. Either you help me or you don't. Yeah, but it's not just about you anymore because everything you do now affects all of us. They use this. What is it? It's a thermal transducer. I found it in the wreckage of Kate's fuel vaporizer. So? It's not in the parts manifest or the shop manual or the factory schematics. Somebody placed it there. Boone, I'm a pilot, okay? And theoretically this is possible, They didn't but plant a bomb. They used a transducer to turn a whole car into a bomb. Look, I understand that you're grieving, and I do not mean to be cold, but Sandoval gave us a job to do, and if we don't make this look good... That's what they did to my wife. Now I know how. Next comes who? Then why? What do you mean, why? The companions had your wife killed to, to persuade you to join them. That's one of two possible theories. What's the other theory? You figure it out. Somebody lives in here? Shh. He's listening. You broke the rules, boo. She's working with me. She should know you. You should know her. You should have asked me first. As always. Captain Lily Marquette, meet Augur. Enchanté. Avatar package under development in Seattle. I think I'm going to borrow it before it comes to market. <laughs> What's this? There's going to be a currency blip in Taipei tomorrow. Big business opportunity if you want in. How do you know? I caused it. Over here, we have an arms dealer in Managua who's transferring funds to a drug dealer in Grand Cayman. 
Somebody has to skim these people. Uh, interesting name. Augur like, uh, like the drill? <laughs> That's Augur with an E. I'm Augur with a U. Two U's, actually. An Auspex. A Herospex. A seer, a prophet, an auger. Got it. Oh, I like her. She can come back. Oh, that's good to know. I don't know about you. Listen, my wife was murdered. I heard. Sorry. Whoever did it made it look like a car accident. I'm good, Boone, but I'm not that good. I don't do resurrection. I want whoever murdered her. I brought a cash card. How much? Excuse my associate. She doesn't understand the excellence of your work. She doesn't understand that not just any hacker can break into the NCIC mainframe data store searching for murders similar to my wife's without anyone finding out. Anyone. I mean, you can do that, right? <coughs> Fuel cell explosion late night, August 14th. She ran a light, was clipped by a truck. Killer was a real pro. He used a thermal transducer in the fuel vaporizer. Tomorrow. Maybe tonight. I leave you to the excellence of your work. Thank you, Walker. The light turned. The trucker pulled out. Geez, well, I don't feel very comfortable talking about this. Bob, it's okay. I'm asking. Okay. The truck pulls up. Right. With the light. With the light. And I've got witnesses to that. Huh? Katie barrels right through on the red. Last second swerves. Touch the truck. Puts the car into a roll. It's not like Katie. I know. Remember how careful she was. Yeah, it used to make me crazy to ride with her. She had something on her mind. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, just, uh, nothing. Maybe I ought to take some time off. I'm not the only one who thinks so. One of your witnesses says there was someone behind her. Yeah, but we never found the guy. think he was following her? I don't know. Trucker said some guy came up behind right after the wreck. He got up, took a look around, and took off. Unidentified white male, black sports car wreck, huh? Fuel cell scoop on a hood. Probably one of those retrofits. Thanks, bud. You got it. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Take that vacation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Think about it. I will. You're rushing me here. You said tonight. I said maybe tonight. Where'd you get those? Good evening, Dr. Askin. Doctor, huh? 
Okay, we're in. Searching bombs. Vehicular hydrofuel cell. Millennium to present. What? Problem? 200 problems. 206, actually, data matches worldwide. How many of the cases have suspects photos? Too many. Run them. You know, we're going to Run be... Run them. Faster. Faster. You're not even looking. Faster, please. Faster. Yeah. Back up. Back up more. Freeze. Core. Judson Williams, suspected in the murder of Marilyn Craig in age 44, Topanga, California. Case dismissed. Lack of evidence. Punching on the photo. me to notify you if certain LAN addresses were ever activated? I'm here. And I'm waiting. Someone opened files in the NCIC pertaining to FBI case number 1440-B. Access from a double-blind terminal. Terminal? Where? That information is not available. The purpose of the double-blind terminal is to conceal its user's whereabouts.
We invested far too much in you to let you run a muck like this. Uh, maybe Dora's back the wrong horse. I don't think so, but I wish you'd quit trying to prove me wrong. Well, this is not something I have a choice about. Of course you have a choice. Sandoval doesn't have a choice. He's a full-blown CBI. If I don't find the man that killed my wife, I'll never be any good to you anyway. And if you do? I guess we're both going to find out. Calling coming from Dawn, screen one. Except... Commander. Captain. Yes, Don. Is everything all right? You appear troubled. Just the stress of a new job, Don. I fear I must add to your stress. Please join me without delay in Washington. Has not Agent Sandoval relayed to you my wish that you pursue suspected accomplices of Jonathan Dorr's assassin? Yes, he has. And your implant is programmed to guide you always in the service of my kind? Of course. Yet you exhaust your potential in the pursuit of a perfect stranger, the imagined assassin of your wife. How might a human, under my guidance, defy the wish of a companion for a motive so paltry as revenge? In pursuing my wife's killer, I serve only you. Please explain. One question first. Did you have my wife murdered? Tell me for what reason I might choose the death of an innocent human. It strikes me how much better I am able to serve you without the hindrance of a wife. If my wife's death was your wish, then I shall turn from solving it and go back to my other duties. And if her death has never been my wish? Then most likely the bomb that killed her was meant for me, in retaliation for saving your life. And so by pursuing the killer of your wife, you thus serve the companions? I have never ordered the death of your wife. Clearly, your CVI has enhanced your cognitive abilities. I look to further our relationship. Each day I grow more grateful for the opportunities it provides. Continue your pursuit. I offer no judgment. And Boone, I hope you find peace. I'm never sure. He likes it that way. Well, that makes sense, if the whole world thinks you're dead. So while we're waiting, why don't you brief me on the meeting? I'm here, I'm alive. I should tell you something. But not everything. I wish I could do that. That's nothing. What did Don want? know why I'm after Kate's killer. What did you say? 
I asked him flat out if he ordered it. And? He denied it. Well, don't tell me that surprised you. He's telling the truth. He didn't do it. You can't be serious. I gave him every opportunity to take credit for Kate's death. You have no idea what really motivates a Talon. And you do? You have quite literally bet your life I do. They're complex, they're duplicitous, and nothing about them, nothing, is ever what it seems. <laughs> Just sounds like another species I know. I have Don's blessing to continue to hunt Kate's killer. I'll handle it from here. No, you will not. We have not worked this hard to position you among the companions just so some high-tech hitman can wipe you out. It's a shame Dr. Bellman can't fix my implant so that I could just serve you. I'll have to talk to her about that. We knew going in that he was an experiment. But you think he's still with us? Yes, I do. If you're wrong, can you kill him? Get in here, don't you know? We have a little problem. Your foolproof search, Core found out. Oh, uh, that's impossible. Oh, yeah, impossible? Let me tell you something. I went to his apartment, but he was expecting me. He left me a little welcoming gift. You promised that wouldn't happen. Uh, well, I don't give refunds. <coughs> I don't want a refund. What I want is for you to hack into his files again. This time, let him back trace you. Boom, are you out of your mind? Did you look at this guy's resume? Yes, I did. Right. And you want to lead him right here. Call incoming, screen two. Caller ID blocked. Accept call. Captain, it's me. What's wrong? Boone, that's what. He's with you? He is, and he's invited some very nasty company. About my inventory. He breaks it, he bought it.
tell me a story. Tell me how you pressed a button and incinerated my wife. Who put out the contract? Who? You really want to know? You pull me out. You look like you were about to kill him. That would have been a mistake. Don wishes to study his kind. you, wasn't it? You had my wife murdered. You don't have to thank me. Don't worry, your wife never felt any pain. Mr. Kaur is an artist. I first discovered the problem when I received my implant. Naturally, my wife immediately knew something was different. Didi was never a genius. But after I received my CVI, she seemed so... infantile. Naturally, I lost further interest in her. Soon she was whining about divorce, talking to her mother and her sisters, telling them how overnight I'd become some kind of monster. Put her away. You had your own wife killed? No. And that was my mistake. No, Dee Dee's alive in a sanitarium in Reston. A place the Bureau uses to warehouse people who can't be allowed in society. Informants. Psychopaths. No one should have to go through what I did. For months, it severely impaired my usefulness to the companion. We aren't cut out for love, Boone. Not anymore. Faith in Commander Boone seems well placed. Truth. You feel more than you say. When first arriving on the surface, I may have expected the humans to be more compliant, malleable, like the game pieces on a field of Kaliol. You are finding them more willful than you imagined. I find them enigmatic. They are so capable of such beauty 
Yet they brutalize each other with such intensity. But I suppose that is one of the reasons we are here. Ms. Sandoval? Someone sent you some flowers. Orchids. Aren't they beautiful? You help me keep these watered. Do you know who sent them? No, ma'am, I'm sorry. They came without a card. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. 